Good morning, Cyber Traders. Happy Friday on this lovely 9th of November. Good to see you all. Ed, good to see you. Dana, good to see you. Grant, Mary, Ben, look at all those great names. Happy Friday, everybody. Hopefully everyone's excited. I'm, I'm just, like I said yesterday, I'm just so happy the elections were over because now it's able to go back to work. And let me tell you, did I not tell you it was going to be a good, uh, a good uh, turnout? Uh, regarding about what was going to happen in the market. We guys did great yesterday. Oh, my God. Um, and uh, obviously, there's a lot going on today. I mean, <laughs> look at the Yelp. Uh, that stock is uh, getting decimated. Oops, spelt it wrong. My, my little fat fingers here. There we go. So uh, Yelp not doing too well. I guess everybody, um, everyone basically... Got a little upset, you know, maybe, I don't know what happened with Yelp other than the bad earnings, it looks like, report there. But uh, it looks like a lot of people are not too happy with Yelp, you know. There's this whole, it's a, lot of, a lot of business owners are not too happy with it. So, I don't know, maybe that had something to do with it, I don't know. But anyway, not doing too well. But anyway, um, let's give Grant a big a round of applause. He did great yesterday. Would you make 7000 on me yesterday? Give him a round of applause. I think, would you make it all, would you make it all in a... Uh, um, Ken, you made it all in that, uh, what was it, the, the, the short on the CT, the CTRP, right? Let me just bring that up. Is that where you made it all? I know you made a ton of it. And the PYX. All right, good for him. And let me, let me tell you something, you know, um, for all of, the, all of you new members and people that are just starting out, I just want you to guys to understand, before we start going through the watch list and what we traded yesterday, just want to talk a little bit, uh, just a little, little background about uh, about uh, Buddy Ken there. Uh, Ken was has been a trader, I think, for for CTU for over three years now. Pharmacist hated his job, found us, um, and you know, with, and I told him with patience, took time. He just wanted to replace his six figure salary, a hundred thousand dollars salary, and now after three years, boom, he makes seven thousand. Look at that. And for everyone, and you know one big thing we don't do here at CT, we never, ever brag. We never brag how much money we make. It's all about up in points. And the reason why we do that, we don't want to discourage all the new traders that are coming in here. I'm like, well, he makes so much I can't compete with him. Listen, we don't do that. Everyone knows that. And the best thing about it is we, we go out there and uh, uh, we just want to show up in points. That's what we, we are because you know what? If if Ken did that in one share, okay, basically, you know, you, you could do it in a thousand shares, you could do it ten thousand shares. It just comes with patience. And that's the biggest thing we always teach. So good job there. Uh good job there, Ken. Congratulations. All right. So um that's right, it just comes in time. It just comes within time. That's it. And eventually when you build up your account, you know how to get to that next level. Which by the way, before we go through the watch list, I want to talk about I want to do a couple of shout outs because we have new two new family members that just joined us yesterday. We got Deborah uh from Florida is now becoming a new gold student. She got approved. And uh, you know, just like just to tell you a little bit about her, she likes the vacation, she's a retired IT girl, a uh, woman. And, um, you know, likes the idea of the freedom, the trading. She saw a couple of things going in the room. She loved it. Give her a, uh, let's, go, let's welcome her. And then Gene from Oregon, another retiree, uh, just joined CTU, you know, help build, uh, make our PowerPoints, power plant safe. Um, you know, just a little story about Gene. I was talking a little bit about him. He was so impressed what happened with the stock symbol we traded yesterday. The uh, let me bring it up the NV the NV uh, LN and uh, he, you know I asked him when was the last time you were up in a stock up 150 percent in the same day by the way he goes I never saw that I says well guess what we do that pretty much almost every day and if you don't believe me you just got to come here and watch but um you know he he here's somebody that came from options and uh, he did great in options but he lost so much of it. And you know what? I tell everyone, you know, options are great, but you got to be a good stock trader first because you know, only people I know got into options and, and they got in for the wrong reasons because, oh, because the leverage and this and that. Next thing you know, they, 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 they thought they made a ton of money, but they never kept it all and they ended up losing it all. So, um, you know, but he loved the day trading part of it and everyone else. But let's give him a round of applause. Gene from Oregon. Welcome to the family. 
All right, so now let's talk about what we traded yesterday and just go through the watch list. But some of you guys missed it, so you know you better be aggressive today. But uh, the C the CPRP, just going to bring that up one more time. Great short. You had plenty of time in the pre market. It's where we make most of our money. Uh, Thirty one fifty down to twenty eight dollars. You know, that was uh, one of the stocks that we had in the pre-market. Listen, I'm seeing a lot more of you waking up a lot earlier, which is what's key right there. But that was um, that's was a little bit more of a fast moving stock for some of us. But it was she was she was just slow and steady. What a great stock. CROX was another one. Great pop early right out of the gate at 930. You had to be pretty quick. But if you missed it at 10 o'clock, it did have another push from 25 to 28. You know, look at that. I mean, guys, where do you see this stuff? Where do you see this? And, and you know what? I'm going to bring up a point because we talked about this yesterday. Remember I told you we don't care what we trade? Let me tell you something. Crocs are the ugliest shoes I have ever seen in my entire life. I mean, they just, I mean, I, I just don't get them. They, they work for hospitals, but somehow they hit the niche. And Crocs been around for a while. You know what? Who would ever thought the stock would pop? You think I'm going to hold it against them? That I would never buy that shoe. I'm like, I would never buy a croc. But is that going to stop me from trading that stock? Absolutely not. You guys did great on it. Um, Roku. Everyone loves this company. Best thing since sliced bread. Roku, Roku, Roku. You know, uh, was like the next um, Roku's like the the the, the, uh, the other Netflix, right? Well, how does that work out for you from fifth four, from seventy five down to forty five? which, by the way, still looks like a short. So they're like, oh, but it's such a good company. Listen, guys, remember what we teach you here at Cybertrain University, and it's the most important thing you learn in class. We don't care what the company does. We just want to make money, you know, regarding about what they do, what they've done, who they are, how ugly their shoe is, or how great of a movie producers they are. It's all about making money. But my favorite yesterday, um, and I thought this was just like a layup, the the NVLN. I mean, I called it out at a buck twenty. All right, I got out of it. I got shaken out of it at a buck at a buck thirty. I ended up buying it back. Had did a couple of shakes right here, which was awesome. And I said it. I called it out. I said, guys, it's gonna go, definitely go to two bucks. Um, and how did I know? Well, once again, it's all about watching the level three, the high frequency trade. So yesterday, overall, was a great day. Now let's get the right down to the point. Some of you guys didn't trade yesterday. Right, we know that, and some of you still learning and getting nervous. One share, one share is all you got to trade. You can't make money trading on demo mode. It just doesn't work. Demo is just to give you, make you feel comfortable with, um, make you feel comfortable of knowing the platform. All right, so let's go in. Today's Friday. Let's see. We got the last day of the uh, the week. We know we got to be a little cautious. We know afternoons are pretty good, but there are a couple of good things going on. Okay, Ben brought up one of the stocks was already on my watch list. Uh, yes, the SLS. We called that out earlier. Great move. Look at that. Great call. Listen, looks like another, you know, looks like another of the, um, uh, whatchamacallit, the, uh, the, N, the, N, the NVLN, uh, this, uh, this SLS. Look at that great move, guys. Who got into it? Anyone got into it? Ben, you're already, you're already in it already. All right, let's give him a round of applause. Good job. Great. Mary's in it too. All right, it's all about the pre-market, baby. Look at that right there. Let me fix that time frame. Some of you guys are like, how can I even see a little bit better? Yeah, look at that. If you got in when you're supposed to at 830 at a buck 95, you're looking pretty damn good. Next question people always ask me is, okay, well, where's it going? Well, that's why you got to be in class. Got to know how to read the level three. You got to learn how to follow the money. Couple of the stocks are on the watch list. VLRX is another one. Going to put on our watch list. Uh, this stock. The reason why I'm bringing it up is some of you remember in April we traded. It went from a buck twenty all the way to four to fifty in one day. Yes, another three four hundred percent trader. But the reason why it's on there is we know the stock. Not that it's moving right now. I'm not a fan of it. But I'm gonna. It, it's on the quote unquote watch list. Okay. Doesn't mean it's on the trade list. NBEV. Another stock that's moving pretty nicely. We traded this stock, uh, another pot stock. Looks like it, it moved up. It's kind of backing off. It's breaking lower lows, though. I'm not too crazy about it. But it's down 23%. It's getting really, really hit right now. Listen, um, I told you, I'm, 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 not, I'm, I'm a fan of pot stocks, but I, you know, I also feel like we're in the internet bubble back in 2000, okay? So, you know, I don't know what the times earnings are on these companies, which, you know, we'll be talking that, about that in our swing trading course. But um, 
Listen, Amazon back in 2000 was trading at 3,000 times earnings, you know? Didn't work too well back in 2000 Amazon. Now it is, you know? But, um, but I could tell you, that was probably the only one out of all the stocks out there in that internet bubble that did well. And how do you know that? You get the experience from being here. N-I-H-D is another one that's on our watch list. Stocks gapped up pretty nicely. It's been having a nice little trend. Back in the year, it's been a dollar of stocks. So it's seven. It's going up pretty nicely. Nice little push into it. Starting to turn into a little bit of a swing trade, though. DBX. Another one right here doing doing pretty well. Dropbox. Um, it's got stock traded 360, 70,000 shares. Look on the right side. Look at all these iceberg orders. Look at that resistance levels right there. What do you, where do you think those, what do you, why do you think it's having a tough time breaking it? Even though it's up, they're like, oh, but it's up 10%. It's got to be a good company. It's got to be great. Stock was 42. Yeah, well, you know what? It's got to get through a couple of brick walls before it gets there. Um, I'm going to keep the NVLN again on a watch list. You know, we did well with it. Let's see how she she works out. I'm, I'm, I'm interested. SLS, guys, still going higher. It's still going higher. Look at that. You know what I you know what I gotta play for that one? The cash register. You guys are doing great on that one. Good luck. AWX is another one on a watch list. Stock, you you all remember this? Yep. Uh, yep, obviously. Another stock that we traded back in, in September. Uh oh no, it was, I think this was August. It went from uh it went from a dollar to twenty bucks. Another six hundred percent winner. The only reason why it's my watch list, because we know what it did in the past. And she's up 29% right now. I'm going to keep an eye on that one. You know, I feel so bad for GE. What the hell's going on? I just I just thought for a split second, I thought it was going to come back. and then never came back. I'm like, well, I, let me bring up yesterday's time frame. I was so close right here. And like, maybe, maybe it's coming back. I know some of you guys are calling out. They're like, oh, look, GE's coming back. Look at that. You know what? You guys notice anything right here on the long-term chart? What do you guys see there? What does that look like to you? Eh, you're right. Little Fausto flag. There you go. And we know when we know when, when flags come in. See ya. A lot of you guys are talking about Herzog this or Hertz this morning. Herzog. Hertz. I told you I'm not a fan of car, cars anymore. Uber is so much cheaper. That's one of the reasons why these 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 car stocks got, got killed. First of all. I think they're expensive and ridiculous too, and you know, and 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 what the, the airports charge it, but they're taking a big hit. But somehow it's coming back today. Nice little move. You guys know we traded Hertz many, many times, and Hertz is, is um, you got to be careful with the Hertz because it, it does it does get a little volatile. All right, um, your fellow family member Ben over there is just telling us SLS has got some resistance levels. And Ben, I hate to say it, looks like it broke right through. He just by the time you just put it at two thirty, look at that, it's already at two thirty four. So we got a little runner right here. If you didn't get it yet, but don't worry, guys, there will be more. You know, and um, listen, stocks got plenty of room for movement right there. So listen, I, stock is very very strong. So if you feel like you're chasing it, we talked about it yesterday. Don't worry about it. Um, just buy less. Just buy less. But you got to be you got to be in it to win it. You know. But so far, this is our morning winner right now, the SLS. So uh, hopefully everybody's been enjoying it. All right, guys. So listen, if I don't see you at 2.30, enjoy your weekend. It's been a great day. I'd like to thank all the new members that have been joining us. Um, we know we, have a, we, had, we, did, we did open house yesterday. We got a new flock of new people who want to see if the truth is really what they've been, been seeing here at Cybertrain University. The only way you're going to know what's going on, you got to talk to Education Advisor. You got to watch those videos. You got to know the language how we speak and see why we've been in business for over, you know, 25 years and, you know, why some of the most successful traders are right here. So you got to learn before you can earn. Great run on that SLS, guys. You're doing great. Awesome. Good luck, everyone. See you in the trading room. See you back at 2.30. Let's make some money going to this open.